Francis Newton Stacy, Optimal Capital Director of Strategy and Market Analyst. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. Now, in spite of the stock market seeing major losses, uh, the White House has had pretty consistent messaging that the U.S. has a strong economy. Still, our News Nation exclusive polling finds that nearly 60% of voters say they have difficulty making ends meet. So are we seeing the results of a lot of households tackling debt, perhaps, that has kind of trickled down from 2021 at a time of excess spending? Well, that's the thing, is that we still have a little bit of a strong economy because these households are taking on debt and credit card expenditures are you know, moving higher at a rapid pace because people are now needing to put their necessities on credit cards. The, the thing about it is, is we had a wealth gap where we had a massive statistical differentiation between the top 40%, mostly participating in asset classes, stock market, private equity, hedge funds, those sort of things, and the lower 60% who were merely living on their wages or incomes. And that was before COVID. COVID has actually widened this wealth gap and statistically, Ray Dalio from Bridgewater came out before uh, COVID and said that um, people in the 40 percentile, 40th percentile are, you know, living in a first world country when you look at life expectancy, education, health care, uh, you know, tendencies for o opioid addiction, almost anything that you could look at. And the lower 60 percent are living in a more third world country in their access to education, their access to health care. So COVID has exacerbated this. And that's sort of the problem is you've got that lower 60 percent, which is completely consistent with your polling, which not only is having to, you know, wages are going up slow they're going up but they're going up slower than inflation so real uh, wage growth is negative and now they're having to pay more for food and gas and all of these necessities and now they're having to put it on a credit card and now we're raising rates so that credit card interest rate is going up so these people are you know just in fact paying more than those who have access to savings. Yeah, it sounds like we all need to start packing a lunch pretty soon. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell actually made some statements saying inflation is a big problem. Well, I think everybody would agree with that. Uh, saying also it's a strong economy. Nothing about it suggests it's close to or vulnerable to a recession. Would you agree with that? Well, I think that we're at a larger risk for recession than that. And the reason is, is the last time that the Federal Reserve heightened, they started stopping their asset purchase purchases in October of 14. They didn't start raising rates until December of 15. And so the system had time to absorb all of these moves. And even still in late 18, they went too far. The S&P sold off 20 percent, hit that bear market, that key bear market thing, and he reversed. And even still, later on in September of 19, right before the pandemic, you had a spike in overnight rates, which just indicates that everybody was selling their stocks probably to pay their corporate tax payments, and there wasn't quite enough liquidity in the system. The determining factor, the singular determining factor between a soft and a hard landing is can we keep enough liquidity in the system to service the record amount of debt? And what you, what you have is you have a similar move with regards to tightening when you take into account the balance sheet and the interest rate hikes that are projected as the last time you just have it happening over a year instead of multiple years and you have a record amount of debt in the system so there's a lot more room for error yeah and, and it sounds like this administration uh currently is trying to stave off any panic about the recession word uh thank you so much uh, for joining us we really appreciate it francis for being with us on morning in america Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.